So why is this example so much harder? Well, again, with the guess and check approach, one thing that you probably noticed is that I'm not dealing with an x squared anymore. Notice how I'm dealing with my first term being a 2x squared. And that changes things a lot because it's not going to be just an x and an x anymore. If I have 2x squared as an area and I'm trying to find the dimensions, well, again, I've got this possibility of an x and a 2x or I could flip it around if I wanted to. Call this one 2x and this one x. And really, those are my only two options. So what does it matter? Well, the answer is it really doesn't matter. You see, I could put one of them as x and one of them as 2x. But what matters is the fact that I've also got this 2 here and what, however I set it up here affects what goes here. So let's play around and, and see with this one. Let's use a guess and check approach. So one option might be to put my 2x here and my x here. 2x times x is 2x squared. Now, let's talk about factors of 2. So when it comes to factors of 2, well, the only two possibilities is a 1 and a 2. So if I put my 1 here and my 2 here, well, what happens to the middle? Because I've got a 2x and an x, that is going to affect what goes in the middle. 2x times 1 is a 2x. x times 2 is a 2x. So now I've got these dimensions, but does it give me the correct area? You see, when I add these two together, 2x and x, there's no possible way that that's going to add to a 5x. So what if I maybe flip-flop some things around? Let's keep the 2x and the x where we have it, okay? What if I switch my 1 and my 2? Let's put the 1 here, and let's put the 2 here, and so now let's see what happens in the middle. So when I do that, 2x times 2 is a 4x, 1 times x is a 1x, and what do you know? 4x and 1x does add to 5x, and then 1 times 2 is 2. So I have my dimensions. My dimensions are 2x plus 1 and x plus 2.